Hey YouTube, Jeff here with another quick Excel tip. Hopefully this is something you'll find quite useful. Um, it relates to combining cell data into another cell. Uh, for instance, here we have an area code and we have a phone number. Uh, if we wanted to combine that to make a full phone number, uh, something that we could do uh, besides going in and retyping all this information, specifically if you have a long list, is a, uh, is a calculation to actually bring that all together. All calculations in Excel start off with an equals sign. In this case, we're going to do equals, uh, the first cell that we want to include. Um, after that, we're going to put an ampersand, which is the and sign, shift 7. Uh, the next thing we're going to include is the other cell. Uh, you notice what happens when I do that is it actually combines the first cell and then directly the second cell. Uh, if I wanted to actually include uh, some type of parentheses or perhaps even just a hyphen in there, I can go back in and edit that. Um, as opposed to uh, just doing the ampersand, I'm going to do another ampersand. In the center, I'm going to put a quotation, which is how you would input text uh, using an equation in Excel. Uh, that, that, that hyphen there in between the quotation marks with the ampersand on each side, you'll see is going to add just that hyphen in there. The quotation marks are not included, of course, because it's just relating that to entering direct text. Um, I could put anything in there, basically. I could, I could do a close parenthesis. Uh, at the beginning, I could do an open parenthesis in quotes uh, with my ampersand after that. So you notice that you know the more ampersands you add in here, you're just basically linking open parenthesis, the cell value in v B4, close parenthesis, and then the cell value in uh, C4. So actually, after this parenthesis, what we'll do is add in a space. We're just going to put a space in between. You can notice here we've got parenthesis B4 parenthesis then space and then you'll have the second part of the phone number which is right there so you can see how that relates to that so again to combine cell information it's the ampersand which is the and sign shift 7 on your keyboard uh, and we can just drag that information down you'll see how it combines everything together very nice and neat very quick way as opposed to retyping each individual phone number here now over here if we're combining individual addresses uh, you can see that that would be also very simple um, one caveat to this is you can put, uh, for instance, if I want a full address here with the address on the first line and then a city, state, and zip code on the second line, uh, that's also quite simple. Again, with the equal sign, I'm going to do my first address, then an ampersand. Now, here's the interesting part about this. There's an Excel formula called character, which is going to display a specific character. Uh, we're going to use character number 10. So I use C-H-A-R for character, open parenthesis, and you'll see it pops up there and asks me which number I want to use. The number for a line break, which is going to put it on the next line, is number 10. I'll close my parentheses. Again, an ampersand, which is going to take us down to the next line, and then I want my city, G4. Now I'm going to do an ampersand again. Behind the city, I want to add a comma and a space before I put my state in. So I'm going to do open quotation, comma, space, close quotation, Another ampersand, because now I'm going to add the state in, which of course is H4. Another ampersand, because now I want to add a space between the state and the zip code, so I'm just going to do open quote, space, close quote. The final ampersand, and then I'm going to click my zip code, which is I4. So you'll see that comes up, and unfortunately because uh, my row height is not quite right, I have to go ahead and edit that. Now typically, you'll see when I fill this down, it's going to go ahead and do it properly. Uh, typically what you'll have to do is right click on that cell, go to format, and make sure that your under your alignment tab, word wrap or wrap text is checked. If that's not checked, it's going to come out all in one line, and in between, in between the line you'll see a basically nothing. Uh, so if you go ahead and click wrap text, you'll notice up here the character is still included. But when you go ahead and click wrap text, it's going to go ahead and drop it down to the next line, uh, just like you have a line break there. So you can see how this would be very useful in combining text. Uh, there's no limit to the amount of text that you can combine. You can combine multiple cells across the board. Uh, it's great with phone numbers. It's great if you're trying to list certain information a certain way. If you want to combine someone's name, first name, last name with a space in the middle, very useful. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this is something that will help you out in the future. Uh, this is Jeff again. and. Uh, Appreciate your time.